All right, let's go out to uh, our guests uh, standing by in Abuja and wading into this subject matter. Mark, why? Thank you, Chamberlain. I have with me Dr. Chukwemeka Ezife, who is a former permanent secretary, he insists, I must add that, and also a former governor of Anambra State, who also trained uh, as an economist at uh, Harvard. You're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you. What's your perception of the fight against corruption so far, especially under the Buhari administration that put it as one of the things he intends to do during its tenure? I commend Buhari for making anti-corruption a major fight in his administration. We may have deficiency in the fight against corruption, but the fact that somebody comes out and says, let's fight this thing, if we don't fight it, it kills us. And it has killed us, really. We need to remake Nigeria. The corruption has already finished the Nigeria we used to know. So um, I'm happy that uh, they are also using some effective uh, methods. This whistleblowing is an innovation that we were laughing at, some people were laughing at. But now it is showing that it is working. The whistle blowing is working. The person blows the whistle, he, give, he gets some money. That's the positives I have said. Any time you engage in selective justice, it is injustice. Two people commit the same offense. They are both known to have committed the offense. You get one person and strangulate him. And the other person goes free. Until this anti-corruption masquerade becomes blind and just smells only corruption wherever it is. Until that happens, we are not, have, we are not fighting effectively. So your perception is that this, this fight has been selective on the whole? On the whole, it is good to fight corruption, and I commend him for doing so. But so far, it has been selective. And selective justice is injustice, as far as I'm concerned. Well, only recently, in an interview that you granted to Daily Trust, you also suggested that uh, looters be allowed to return a part of their loot, return perhaps 90% of it, and maybe keep 10%, an arrangement, you know, the federal government should make efforts to recover these monies, and that when, um, when they eventually do that, it's only those who are recalcitrant that should be exposed. That's your perception. Do you think that that would work as an idea to, you know, fight corruption? Till tomorrow, I believe it is a more effective way of recovering the loot and putting the loot to use. Um, he said, but you just don't make a noise, call somebody names, etc. And they enjoy themselves, even in their society today. Some people who have been shown to be corrupt and to have, in fact, looted much of our money are still big men in social, in the eyes of society today. So what you do is maximize your recovery by Having a system, have an anti-corruption commission. They go after people who are corrupt, who have assets beyond their means of earning, and negotiate with them. Find out where everything is, where they put in uh, Germany, in everywhere. Find out where the money is. Then negotiate. Let leave them with living fund, something that makes them continue living, but take away the extras. Many of the Nigerians are taking more money than 10 generations of theirs can use. But when you talk to some, some, a person like that, he will be cooperating with you and you will collect more. Why would he want to cooperate with you? Because you, have, you are saying, I understand you, you have done this bad thing, 
we are not going to celebrate the badness. We are going to persuade you, give us most of it back, and just live, have a life on the rest, the small part we leave for you. And, of course, there is also a penalty. If you don't, we already know where your money is. We expose you, and we go attacking you in any way we choose. But if you cooperate, we do it quietly and get the money, use it to feed our people. That method has already been criticized because the federal government says that it, is, it has received cooperation from a number of people who did not choose to be named. And uh, for, for, I mean, for some reason, they could not name them as well because they had cooperated with them. Uh, but then a lot of Nigerians wonder if that method is effective, if it's enough as a method. Uh, they believe that it would also encourage others who believe that they can do it as well and then after a while return only a part of the loot and then keep a certain percentage. You know, there is no perfect system on earth. Only God knows how to make perfect things. But this is the, as near to effectiveness as you can get. If you have a commission and they are tackling corruption headlong. You know, we talk corruption and we think that the money packed in the banks are the only corruption. I'm talking about corruption comprehensively. The way you talk, you must be a graduate and in some universities you must buy some handouts in order to pass exam. But whatever you write. In some secondary schools it is so. I think it's getting so even in the primary school. Corruption has pervaded every level of society. And we must, if we say we are fighting it, we fight it for the benefit of the people. These people run away, hide away, and you can't get them and the money. It is now, now that you are making a noise, that is even when... The, uh, those who are making the noise are, are, are themselves corrupt. You, you are, I know that you also, you know, are very in tune with traditional mores and values. You said something that, you know, really struck me about how, you know, despite the fact that some people have been exposed as corrupt, their societies still celebrate them. They're still very welcome at home. How, what do you think we can do to change that as a people? Well, if you fight corruption, comprehensively from society from church from mosque and people now imbibe conscience doing things with conscience and doing the best for everybody then if a person is cheating everybody knows he's cheating him he's cheating him Every woman says, he's cheating me. Every man says, he's cheating me. And they, they will turn against him. But this one is, uh, I don't know, a party of corruption. We are exposing everybody. It is no longer an issue in Nigeria. Corruption has been accepted by most people. And if you are not corrupt, and therefore, you don't have so much uh, money to show. Yeah, people will look at you and say, wasn't this person, what? wasn't he in a position to have made money? And he has not. So, if it is general, a person from the north is corrupt, a person from the south is corrupt, a person from the east is corrupt, a person from the west is corrupt, why not when go and get our own? Dr. Ezefi, we have to take I, a moment. I want, I want you to... I, I, I'm sorry I have to interrupt you. We have to take a moment uh, right now. When we come back, we'll definitely continue this line of discussion and also take some questions from my colleagues in Lagos to stay with us. <laughs> 